Sure, this is the NOAA National Marine Fisheries Service Recruiting, Training, and Research Program. And the, the goal of the program is to try to uh, recruit top-notch, statistical, and mathematically talented undergraduate students into the field of population dynamics. So population dynamics is the use of mathematical models to try to predict effects of fishing on fish populations and to identify the best management strategies to ensure sustainability. So we try to actually recruit the best students from around the country. We bring them in the Keys for a week and we try to introduce them to the field of population dynamics to get them excited about the career potentials in fish populations. So I think the first thing we look for is, is a passion for fisheries or the marine environment. It's, it's essential. And then um, a quantitative background that, that at least demonstrates they have an ability to kind of think in mathematical terms and concepts. And what's amazing is you have these students with, with fantastic backgrounds in terms of their, their, their training in ecology and mathematics, but they've never been aware that kind of what we do as, as stock assessment scientists and managing fisheries is actually a career option for them. It's an amazing process to watch them arrive and suddenly recognize that, that the skill set that they've been developing actually has an incredibly important application in, in the management of natural resources. The class during the week is a mix of classroom exercises and a lot of field trips. We actually do a lab uh, study where we estimate fish growth rates using ear bones. The students actually dissect fish and take the ear bones out of the fish and they can read the age of the fish like rings on a tree. So they get hands-on experience with actually data processing similar to what the agencies do when they get out in the job market. One of our field trips was we went to Keys Fisheries, which is a it's a it's a lobster and stone crab processing plant, and it was an amazing experience for the students to get to see the diversity of work that Keys Fisheries does on one of the largest ports for lobster and stone crab fisheries in Florida. They sell their product all over the world, a lot to China, um, and really the students got an appreciation for what a global market these seafood products are. Another one of our field trips is we actually take the students out fishing and they get an appreciation for the vast recreational fisheries resources that we have in the state of Florida. They get out and do some reef fishing. They get, a lot of them, it'll be their first chance to actually catch a fish and, and really get an appreciation for the scope of our recreational fisheries in the state. It's a fantastic opportunity for them. I think the main point we want to get across to them is, is how we kind of distill all the information in the biological world and the, the complexities of fisheries down into mathematical models and then try and use those models to make kind of meaningful management recommendations. Ultimately what the National Marine Fisheries Service hopes to get out of this program is that they, we train these students that can go on and become stock assessment scientists with NOAA um, in, the, in the agency. Uh, the benefits to UF are we get these fantastic graduate students that are some of the cream of the crop really quantitatively talented students that could come in and address some of our most challenging fisheries management problems. We usually have 80 to 90 applications and we only take the top 15. They're selected through a rigorous phone interview process and so what we end up with is a really top-notch group of students that are really talented in math and statistics and also have a strong interest in marine science and managing fish populations. Of those 15 students, then we, we usually every year try to recruit the top of that group to come and be graduate students in our program. And we have six or seven graduate students now that have formerly been undergrads in the program. What we're hoping is that NOAA is going to extend this program with us and this partnership into the future so that we can, we can continue to mentor and train these, these top-notch graduate students in quantitative fisheries methods.